down here at Port St Mary Town Hall. Uh, Christy and I are here as part of our Village Hall series and once again what we're finding is that this is a hub for almost everything that happens in the community and I'm just with Margaret now, uh, Margaret from Port St Mary Commissioners and we're just looking out of the windows standing on the stage here Margaret and you were saying this is a view that not many people get to see. No, people have no idea what's hidden behind the curtains. When they come in in the evenings the curtains are drawn and the lights are on but when I come in on Monday morning to check the town hall I get to look out the window beautiful view. It really is. If you go to the Max Radio Facebook page you will be able to see that view which is beautiful today because the sun is shining but even on a stormy day that would be incredible. We can just see the lifeboat uh, just sitting out in the harbour there. Uh, Margaret we have you to thank for getting all the people here today but you had so many people to choose from. Yes and we do. We have one of everybody comes to the town hall all ages all abilities and everybody does something different. And what we find, and I'm sure you will echo this, is that it's so important to have a space like this in every community around the island. Oh yes, yeah, they, they need to feel like it's their patch. Yeah, They really do. That view is incredible. You have to drag me away from that. Um, something else that happens here, uh, we've talked a lot about music, but art is also really important. Yes, it is. And, and Margaret, you've got the details there of something called the Art Cellar. Just tell us about that. So the art cellar is run by a lady called Angie and they're in the West Room which is downstairs in the Town Hall on a Wednesday morning and when they're in they've renamed it the art cellar because it's tucked downstairs. Uh, anybody can come. The examples that we've got here you can see how talented some of these artists are but all abilities everybody's welcome to come. £10 a session um, and we have Angie's phone number uh, but it's a great place and they make a really good cup of tea. <laughs> it's all about the tea. Tea and biscuits. It? It's what keeps places like this going. Exactly. Now, someone who is no stranger to stages all around the Isle of Man uh, is Mr. Lenny Connery, who is here in his post office capacity today, oh, being baby. being a postman. He's off duty. Uh, but Lenny, we mentioned earlier uh, the Davy Knowles gigs, and that is something you've been instrumental in over the years. We'll come to that in just there. a moment. Instrumental. Yeah. We'll come to that in just a moment. But what are some of your earliest memories of this town hall? Oh, well, yeah, I was trying to um, um, rack my brains earlier. Uh, going back to the late 80s, um, bizarrely, jumble sales, basketball uh, club had jumble sales. And then, um, because the, the room layout was slightly different, and I always remember the sound wasn't particularly great for bands, but nobody really cared in those days. I think we're, we're a lot luckier now that um, modern equipment's um, made things really good. So we were putting the likes of Gasp on with the rugby club, and it didn't matter if, if it was you know, sounded rubbish. That said, gas never sounded rubbish. Um, so we were putting nose gigs on late 80s, early 90s, and it was just fabulous. And I think we've come a long way to, to the likes of um, Davey uh, sort of in the last few years. The sound, uh, well, the talent, I should say, more importantly, emanates so wonderfully off the stage. Um, it's a great room. Davey loves about it. He's, he can see everybody in the room. It's, it's personal and it's, um, and it's local. And it's just, just down the road from his house. That's what he loves. And that's the thing, is because you've followed Davey's career from the very, very beginning, haven't you? Yeah, the boy's doing good. Um, I'm very pleased to say he's a, he's a daddy now, which sadly knocks, knocks on the head the, the Christmas shows. But uh, they, they were very... Um, uh, well, they sold out uh, uh, weeks and weeks ahead. They were very uh, memorable every year. We did, think, four years in a row. And what an incredible thing that's thing because as we said, as you have seen yourself, because you follow Davis career and obviously very good friends with him and have been around the world with him to, to a certain extent, he has played to audiences of tens of thousands, yeah, hasn't he? Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, yeah. you do see when there's video and pictures posted of his gigs here, sure. people around the world are so envious, aren't they? Well he he um, a few years back, well it is good sort of 12 years he he supported um, Don McLean in the villa and um, he's obviously done the uh, youth games he's played for those um, he's been at the garden party outdoors um, the gaiety he did uh, several years but all the favorite gigs have always been in here um, I think it's because he's quite lazy and wants to get home <laughs> quickly after the gig could be wrong but no it's, it is it's, it's just something something personal about it um, and he'd rather do five gigs in here than one somewhere else for sure yeah, and it's not just about Davey. Let us, let us know some of your other favourite moments in this Well, I, again, gigs. racking my brains. Um, we, we had a band that has now sadly split up, the Stripes. You know, the Irish band. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got them in here six days before they got signed at Universal. I came to that. Did you and, know? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was, that, was a, that was a nice little coup. But we've had all sorts. Um, uh, gosh, uh, Nick Barlow, Tender Age. I've had my 50th in here. 
What you won't know is I had my engagement party in here and I actually got on the stage and sang and played the guitar. I'm not sure whether to celebrate that or not, then. No. <laughs> There's some footage on Betamax somewhere and it's not good. It's not good. Well, it's another example of one of the many uses of these village halls all around the island. Do you know what? My arm is really sore from having to hold the microphone up He's so very high tall there. He is much taller than I thought yeah. you were, Lenny. Yeah, sorry. It's, just, uh, it's been that way for It must for be hard bending time. down to the letterboxes. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't like to talk about work here. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of music, uh, there is so much going on around the island this weekend in particular, as we heard from Steph and Nell earlier, who are very busy this weekend. Something that's happening tonight, not too far from here, at Foraging Fitness in Port Erin, is the launch of a new single by the excellent group Bisky Brisht, who I'm sure have probably played in here at various points over the years as well. And uh, they have given us the single to play because it's released on this very day, Beth. So we're going to get the very first play of it now it's called not again and if you are free this evening pop down to foraging, foraging fitness to see them play but here it is bisky brisht with not again <laughs> 